guys, welcome to episode four of our cheap Jeep series. And as you recall, in the last episode, we took three cheap Jeeps and we made them more Moab worthy. This thing actually is better than I thought it would be. I removed a little bit of weight. <laughs> it's still running. I've been a busy little beaver. It's got a new thermostat in it. Oh my, Andre, uh, you put a coat hanger on the front of your Jeep. Yeah, we're thinking maybe a bowl bar. We'll leave the plastic bumper. These steel wheels are just a standard black and that bright yellow on the Jeep is gonna look really good with some white wheels. I have to add wood because I wanna be able to lift precisely by the A-arms. We just broke it off. He doesn't need wipers anyway. <laughs> we are here in the America's playground of off-roading and as promised, we're gonna go and take on one of the hardest trails here. Of course, I'm talking about Hell's Revenge. Uh, Nathan, uh, that says fins and things. Yes, and that's because you were outvoted because we're the ones who are driving the Jeeps. We have a Jeep that might overheat on the trail. We know the trails really well. They're better for photography. They're better for off-roading because we can do articulation. They're better for approach and departure angles. All together for what we're doing, this is a better trail and we all agree. All right, on this episode, we're gonna take on fins and things. I may have overdone the size of these tires. Those are really interesting right. noises. This is a 1961 Willys CJ5. Oh, this is a man's Jeep. So maybe uh, Jet Edition was not the right choice in hindsight. And the danger of going the hard way is you can slide into the tree, um, which would make a cheap Jeep even cheaper. Do I go slow or do I go quick? This is where theory collides with real world off-roading conditions. Now, as you know, we come here a lot because we have a number of obstacles that we use to take on this very interesting and very challenging trail. Now, here we have Nathan who bought an $8,000 Jeep Liberty, put on some wild peaks by Falcon and took out the sideboards, running boards, not much. Now, Tommy took an interesting approach he bought himself a $6,000 CJ. Same thing, put on some Falcon Wild Peaks, fixed the uh, fuel pump, I believe, and got a bikini top for it because it is hot out here. And finally, here comes Andre, <laughs> who bought the cheapest Jeep here, another Liberty for $3,000. Now he lifted it, put on some Falcon Wild Peaks, and got it to rub quite a bit. So we're gonna find out exactly how these three Jeeps stack up in the real world by taking them on some of the hardest obstacles that we know. So we'll start with Frame Bender, and then we'll take on One Tree Hill. And at the end, of course, we're gonna do the hardest one of them all, and that is Ass, or is it Chin Scratcher? That's coming up right now. All right, we're calling this obstacle the lip buster, and this is actually very hard because it's what's called an undercut. In other words, the sand underneath it has kind of worn out, so you've kind of got this overbite. And this tests approach angle, and of course, the ability to crawl up and over it. So uh, let's see if any of these three Jeep Jeeps can make it. Don't worry about you, Nathan. Uh, the Jet Edition does not seem to have been designed for, let's call it, non-urban off-roading. Yeah, that's, that's kind of high, but uh, you know, let me, uh, let me have a look-see. Here, come on up here, my man. You got about five feet, four feet, three feet, two feet, keep coming. You got more room, keep coming. Oh, one more foot. Okay, stop. Yeah, uh, the problem, man, is that uh, you don't have enough approach angle. From my vantage point, I have plenty. I can hit it. Come on, let me go. I mean, you can create more approach angle by tearing the front off your Jeep, but you know, that's not what we do here. We'll leave that to what's like So maybe uh, Jet Edition was not the right choice um, in hindsight for uh, this sort of off-roading. But let's see how Tommy does. Tommy, Nathan was not able to do it. So let's see if you chose better by getting an old CJ5. Oh, no doubt I chose better. Watch this. The engine just died, one sec. 
This is a 1961 Jeep CJ5. Technically, it's a Willys CJ5. And it is by far the coolest Jeep here. Also by far the oldest Jeep here by a matter of probably several decades. Oh boy, it looks a lot harder up close, but I've got the best of the table of the group. I'm not sure it's gonna do it! Here, I'll give it one more go. Oh! I think it's a no go! <laughs> Alright, Andre, come on up, boy. You give it a shot. So far, two have tried and two have failed. Well, I can give it um, kind of a shot and see what happens. Oh. Oh, he might do it. Come on, Andre, keep going. So the issue is here is his uh, rear control arm is right up against that rock there. So he doesn't have quite enough clearance, but that it's fair to say he made it the furthest. I think I'm I'm stuck. I'm beached. But I did it! Hey, why don't you give it one more try? Just just go a little farther. Nice, nice, gentle. Okay, go, go. Oh, accelerator. <laughs> Okay, I gave it a go. Okay, slow, 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 slow. You're about to go over the edge. Slow. You got it. Keep going slow. Oh. Okay, back it up. <laughs> Is my Jeep intact? Well, all the other Jeeps are wussies. I'm the real one. So that was obstacle number one, and uh, no point for you. No point for you. One point for you, so. Well, one point! That was more painful to watch than my wife giving birth. All right, we call this the uh, chin scratcher. You see all these lines? That's where people have uh, scratched their chin. It's a good test of approach and departure angle. It's kind of a V-notch. So we'll have the boys come through here and see which one scratches and which one doesn't. All right, Nathan, your turn. Come on through. Oh, let's see if you hit. Hey, you only managed to get too much fire. That Jeep has such a short wheelbase that uh, it's not gonna hit anything. But it does make for a very bumpy ride. All right, Andre, come on through. So that was Chin Scratcher, boys, before we get to the hard stuff. So, uh, Nathan, you hit your mud flap. Uh, no points for you. Oh, come on! Andre, uh, you rubbed like crazy, uh, so no points for you. What? Tommy, you took it clean. Oh, yeah. So, you hear that? So it's one, one, zero. I was about to judge your completely arbitrary scoring system, but now I'm, I'm yeah, tied yeah. for first, so I'm liking it. Oh, I bet you are. It's pretty good. Nice. Drake, can you hear me? 
Yes, are you coming um, to me from your luxury liner that's like two inches off the ground? I'll have you know it's triple that at least. And yes, you know, I got the air conditioning on because it, it has it and it works remarkably well despite the fact I have a roof where, you know, a lot of the cold air would leak, but no big deal. And uh, yeah, these leather seats are actually really comfortable in hot temperatures. <laughs> you have a jet liner. I do indeed. Hey, uh, Andre, your windows, all of them go down all the way when you need to, right? No, I, I did fix my passenger front window. It's now all the way up, but it doesn't come down. So I, I have my three windows down right now, but uh, I do have AC as well, and it works remarkably well after 201,000 miles. It feels like I'm one with nature here. You gotta wrestle it. Manual steering, unassisted, single pot, drum brakes on all four corners. I got my gloves on to help me grip the steering wheel a little better because my hands are sweating to high health at over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I mean, this is fun. It's just simply an absolute hoot. I can't stop smiling in here. And sure, the engine's running hot and the clutch is slipping a little bit and the transmission's crunchy and the brakes kind of sort of work. But none of these other guys are having half as fun in their plastic cocoon. All right, gentlemen, we are at the frame bender. Well, yeah, that's right. So it's this <laughs> cliff uh, where you end up smacking your bottom. And if you're bad at it, you end up rolling over. So hopefully we only do one of those two. So hopefully none of you will bend your frame, but if you do hit your frame, that's no points. And if you don't hit your frame, that's one point. One more that way, actually. I don't want you on the smooth part because that's what seems scary. Okay, looking good. Crawler down. That was not a hit! The tail's gonna hit in three, two, one. Oh! It was just a mud flap. <laughs> Ugh, that poor baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oof, I'm sorry. This is one of the few times I've been genuinely stressed about something I've done on this channel because this is actually a really gnarly obstacle. It doesn't look bad in video. It's pretty scary in person. And this is a really short wheelbase Jeep. Let's see what happens. First gear, clutch out, and let it crawl. Hopefully that's all we need. Oh no! Oh no! What the heck? Oh, I think 
Come on, Jeep! Oh, God! <laughs> wow! That was something else! It was so steep even at the top there that I couldn't keep the engine idling. All right, so I am approaching the frame bender and after my first obstacle, nothing scares me. And I think I do have the clearance. I might touch my front um, A-arm. Okay, Tommy says it's nice. I trust Tommy. I have huge tires. Right now. Okay, straight I, ahead. I didn't touch. Let's see if Let's my hitch touches. Uh, I don't think that's fair because I've got a recovery point. Yeah, yeah. Drive her down. Uh, well, did I hit my recovery point or what did I hit? You hit something. No, I did not hit anything. All right, boys. Um, you hit, you hit, you did not hit. What? One time. <laughs> so it's one to one to one. It's all tied up, gentlemen, I... and One Tree Hill is next. I don't believe it. Oh, come on, Andre. Put that recovery point back. Don't be, you know, just... <laughs> no, oh, I don't want to scratch my butt. Oh, for God, just put Please, it in the, put, that thing's... No, 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 no. Put oh, it in there. Okay. It's part of the Jeep. Seriously, put no, it in there. No, it's not part of my Jeep. My hitch is right there. Oh, for, oh, for oh, God's sake. Oh, oh, Andre, put it back in. He's cheating. All right, here we are. One tree hill, very steep. A good test of just how much traction you have. Uh, so Nathan's coming up first. Uh, there's an easy way up, but we're gonna make him go the hard way. And the danger of going the hard way is you can slide into the tree, um, which would make a cheap Jeep even cheaper. All right, Nathan, come on up, dude. Hmm. So the question is, Don't hit the tree, Nathan. do I go slow or do I go quick? Slow, no. Oh, oh, yeah. Nathan, that was definitely the Nathan approach. Good work. Momentum is your friend. It is indeed. I think I got a one wheel off the ground, too. That was very impressive, Nathan. All right, here comes Tommy. No lockers or anything in this Jeep, no limited slip. But I do have a nice short wheelbase and solid axles, which in my mind help at least a little bit. Andre, you're uh, you're up next. You've got uh, quite the challenge. Both of them made it up with any issues. In my opinion, my humble opinion, they were cheating because they went too fast. Yeah, it's not who gets there first. That's true, but it is who gets there. I'm gonna take a little bit more measured approach and see how these tires, the new RTs, Wild Peaks, hold up. I'm open to smoke. Tire smoke. Ooh. I think you almost broke a dip there, Andre. I would try to get some metal. Oh, I wanted to make it a little bit more challenging, but I couldn't do it. I guess I can. I can go take it this way. Hey, go for it. Use the Nathan method. I guess I did squeak my tires and I used the Nathan method. And I did it. Uh, it's difficult without lockers, definitely. Or without fancy, fancy traction control systems that we're used to now. Nice work, Andre. Uh, I think I, heard, I, I articulated and hit my my axle, kind of hit the body. All right, guys, it's all tied up, and we're doing what are we doing? Butt, Butt scratcher. scratcher. That's right. So this is an obstacle where 
you go down a very steep hill into some sand. Now, if you hit your nose, you don't get a point. If you hit your tail, you don't get a point. So whoever's clean through there potentially could win this. But, but didn't I just lose the one free hill? No, no you fine. made it up. You made it up. Yeah. This, yeah. this game is a lot like Whose Line Is It Anyway, where there's a lot of points, but they don't seem to matter at all. Rowan feels as if you deserve yet another point. Yes, you are granted another point. Well, that is why I am the arbitrator, and I, at the end of the day, get to choose the winner. So let's go see which one of you does best on this last obstacle. All right, it's all tied up, and this is the tiebreaker. We call this butt scratcher because, as you note, you can see where everybody scratches their butt. We'll give a point if they don't scratch the front, and if they don't scratch the rear, they're going to get a point. If they do scratch, they're not going to get a point. So, potentially, each vehicle can get two points here, depending on how they do. Down we go, down. <laughs> Slide him just a bit. Okay, okay, girl. Come on, level out. Oh, what a sweetheart. What a sweetie. Now let's turn and see if we can avoid completely smacking the rear. Mud flaps don't count. They do not count. Mud flaps don't count. All right, nice work, Nathan. Yeah. Well, you're next. <laughs> Here it comes. Tommy, um, it was good knowing you. It was quite nice knowing you too, Andre. At least I will go knowing that the steering column will not hurt that bad when it impales me. No, but seriously, I, I think it'll be just fine. This Jeep hasn't hit the trail in probably 25, 30 years, and then I bring it out to Moab and bring it down some pretty darn demanding terrain. And it's probably thinking, what the hell has happened to me? I was just enjoying retirement, and then this nerd dragged me out of retirement. Transmission is starting to sound a little crunchy. Not sure how much life the uh, clutch has left in it either. How are we looking, Dad? Come on, Jeep, don't, don't do that. Oh, yes! Oh, that was all the brakes she had, but we made it, baby. this way nice and easy nice and gentle nice and gentle <laughs> I'm not using too much gravity just using how's my chin good I need to clear this I need to clear this Did I clear it? <laughs> well boys, um, none of you really hit. So you're still all tied up. So um, I think we're gonna have to mm. um, do this by voting. Yep. And decide um, which vehicle was the best. So one rule, okay. Starting with Andre, you pick which vehicle you think did the best and you can't vote for your own. So go for it, Andre. I call on the CJ5, not only because it's a cool, interesting vehicle, but also the driver has big cojones. <laughs> what do you say, Tommy? I, you know, I have to say, I, I was genuinely impressed with that, that Red Liberty. 3,300 bucks, 500 bucks in lift kit, and then, you know, those, those Falcon tires and a set of steel wheels, and the thing is kind of, kind of really cool. All right, Nathan, you're the tiebreaker since you can't vote for your own. Yes, I can vote for my own. You can't. You gotta vote for either the Liberty or the CJ. All right. I I really hate to say this. Um, 
But I'm gonna vote for the CJ. Whoa! Why, 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 why do you hate it? Be, well, because my Suzuki was better in every measurable way, and it really angers me that I don't have it anymore. But the CJ is capable of doing everything we did and then some. Andre, I'm sorry, but you and I, we drive like crap compared to Tommy. <laughs> Tommy went down a hill Thank with you. no engine <laughs> and no power threw all caution to the wind and did it. Thank you, Nathan. You're well, welcome. Well, there you have it, guys. We have a winner winner chicken dinner, and it's the old CJ. Uh, it's actually kind of cool because uh, he spent kind of right in between, right? Nathan, you spent eight. Andre, you spent three. He spent six. And um, this time the middle Jeep wins. And the oldest Jeep. But can I add one thing? Of course. Yeah. Which one of us would choose the black Jeep to drive home in? Yeah, yeah. I, uh -huh. I, I would. I would Come choose on, exactly. the black Jeep. Come on, Roman. Yeah, I choose Andre, the black Jeep. Andre, you're not even a tiebreaker, and you would choose mine too. Yes, you would. No, I'll choose the wrong You would choose you mine would because not. mine has the killer air conditioner and stereo. Oh, and you can go topless too. Yes. Yes. All right, all right, guys, if you've been watching this whole series, we have a special bonus episode that we shot on the way out here. So come on back next week for the final edition of the TFL Cheap Cheap Challenge. See you next time. Ciao. See ya. Adios. Tommy, my friend, why do you have a student driver sticker here? I, I don't know. <laughs> Nathan, why do I have a student driver sticker there? Actually, Andre has one too. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's been on the back of your vehicle the entire time. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, come up here. Have a look. Come up. I don't know how they got on there. I'm thinking that um, Alex did this. He's like, put that on there. I don't know why it's not on mine. Strange. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm impressed that that magnet will stick with all my Bondo. <laughs> I actually think that's more of a compliment than an insult that the magnet, I found some steel on that thing. In this video, we're going to do a little bit behind the scenes because we have yet to go to Moab, and so we figured that it'd be interesting to find out what gets better fuel economy. Is it a Raptor R towing one Jeep, or was it Ram 2500 heavy-duty diesel towing two Jeeps? Three, two, one, go! No! I think the Raptor is going to go through so much fuel, you'll be stopping more often, I'll just go straight to Moab. But there is one variable that, uh, you know, we have to discuss. Uh, fuel price? Uh, no, Nathan. <laughs> the heavy duty truck don't care. Yeah, you wanna hold my big fatty? <laughs> it's called a big fatty, what do you want? Wow. Yeah. That is, that is a lot of meat, Nathan. Yeah, that stick hey, has thanks. a lot of meat. Hey guys, we reached the credit card limit, <laughs> 25 gallons. <laughs>